I don't need an allowance, Mom. Daquan is going to support me by writing for Blurds. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Just kidding. I'm Jazz from CP Time. And I'm doing this video for Blurds because we need more videos. And the only videos we have is a fantastic series of Jordan, one of my CP Time co-hosts, doing his playthrough of Grand Theft Auto. And you should probably watch that and like it and share it with your friends because you should just do it. Support the cause. There will be a link somewhere. Also, go check out Blurds Online. Also, there will be a link somewhere. Anyway, oh, by the way, if it looks like I'm cross-eyed and not, I don't know, looking at you, it's because I'm using my iPhone. And I'm having a hard time trying to focus on where the little uh, camera is. So, I think I looks like I'm talking to you, but who knows? I don't know. So, excuse me if I look cross-eyed. Anyway, making this video... Gonna be talking about a couple of uh, different things. Just a little rant because people keep doing stupid shit and I have just an endless supply of things to talk about because there will always be stupidity. But there's, you know, some things that aren't stupid that I'm gonna talk about. But anyway, first order of business. Daquan. Daquan. why if you're not familiar with what daquan is i applaud you because that means you are doing something right you are not you probably don't have a twitter or an instagram and no form of social media or whatever i applaud you because that is great that you do not know who daquan is but for those of you that do know or want to know whatever um daquan is this it's like an internet meme of people uh, pictures of uh, like either usually a mom or their daughter a white girl or something like that or just just a white girl sometimes even a white boy and it's about this f figure black black kid named Daquan or whatever and just ah, it, it, it's stupid because it's basically just kind of like a low-key slander about uh black people interacting with uh, white people and just kind of poking fun at the whole uh, you know how uncomfortable black people can uh, make white parents or their their uh, children interacting with them or whatever like there's one where it'll be like uh, I don't know Susie why don't you get a job and it's her uh, mom talking to this little girl or whatever and the girl's like speaking towards her and replying, Mom, I don't need a job because when Daquan's mixtape drops, we're going to be living large. Shit like that. It's stupid. People find the stupidest shit funny and it just spreads like wildfire on Twitter and social media and it just it just spreads and then it dies out it takes forever for it to die out, but it eventually dies out, and then it's on to the next stupid thing. It's stupid, but listen, if you're black, don't don't tweet pictures of Daquan. It's low-key subtle slander, and it's basically, you're, you're the joke. You're the joke. Like, you're Daquan, okay? You're Daquan. It's, it's just stupid. I don't know where it came from. I don't know the first person that, you know, ooh, this would be funny to coin. Hee, hee, hee. Like, uh, it's it's a stupid meme. It's it's almost as bad as, uh, but that's none of my business, Kermit, which I hate it with a passion. But uh, it's probably about to die out soon anyway, so let's hope for the best. All right. So I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I've wanted to talk about for a while. So why not talk about it in this video that I'm doing for Blurds and my own channel? Naruto. I've actually wanted to talk about Naruto for a while now. If you're all caught up in the uh, manga, it's pretty crazy, huh? Spoilers! 
Spoilers, 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 spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Just giving you a heads up because I'm not one of those assholes that'll post pictures of Naruto spoilers the day it comes out, spoiling it for those that haven't read it yet. I hate when people spoil shit for me. So I'm just giving you a heads up. If you aren't caught up and you want to know, just, just, uh, you know, I guess maybe I'll try to put in the uh, comments or description when the Naruto spoiler is over so you can get back to the video or skip skip it or whatever but yeah Naruto getting pretty crazy you got Madara who is now the goddess that created ch chakra jutsu whatever first he was the you know sage of six paths and now He's he turned into a girl and everybody is asleep and Black Zetsu played a bigger role than everybody thought. What the fuck? But Naruto's getting pretty crazy. I just it's getting a little it's getting a little too nuts. Like I feel like uh, Kishimoto might have written himself in a little hole and he wants to do all these sweet things, but he's you know kind of I, I think he's gonna have himself stuck i feel like he may or may not give us an unsatisfying ending possibly because he just has so much shit that he's trying to like squeeze in to like have it draw out a little bit longer so let's just hope he ties it all together and we have a satisfactory ending and naruto and sasuke don't end up together on some gay shit not that there's anything wrong with gay characters or people being gay just it it would kind of uh i, I don't know it, it would throw me for a loop if they were but you, you you never know i mean naruto was pretty uh pretty obsessive over sasuke for a while still kind of is so who knows might go down in the history books for that ending. But, I don't know. Naruto's getting a little bit crazy. And I feel like it's ending up like Bleach. For those of you that know me, follow me on Twitter. At Jazzbeaton. J-A-Z-P-U-T-I-N. Anyway, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, you know I'm not the biggest Bleach buff out there. I used to actually like Bleach. If I looked in my closet, I collected a good portion of the manga I, I bought it i liked bleach up until the aizen fight i was just kind of like Ugh, when ichigo was fighting aizen because it it just got really blah like i was just skimming through him just like all right ichigo is gonna get this this power after he's backed into a corner and he's gonna beat the bad guy and looking back it's just every arc I feel like Ichigo just gets a new power and just overcomes the bad guy. And it grows stale, you know? Like, just a rinse and repeat. But, I don't know. I feel like everybody in uh, Naruto, not even everybody, just mainly Naruto, Sasuke, and the bad guy at this point are just becoming super powerful and shit and just it's turning into a battle of power like when's the last time you've seen someone throw a, a kunai or a shuriken when's the last time you've seen someone use ninja tools right like when's the last time you've seen some uh naruto summon i i just i don't know actually if someone's watching this please and i hope i hope you're watching this because i mean yeah but if you're watching this, someone tell me the last time someone threw a kunai. When's the last time a nigga used a substitution jutsu? You know? Eh? You don't know. It's just, Naruto's so different from uh, part one of the series. I mean, I love Naruto. It's my, you know, it's my anime. Hmm, you like Naruto? Yeah. Alright, first of all, Side note, people need to stop giving people shit about liking Naruto, okay? You can like whatever the hell anime you want. 
Alright, you can, like, whatever. Stop giving other people shit about the anime they watch. They like what they like. No one told you you had to watch it. So, who cares if you watched an anime that only streams on uh, an account that you have to make in Japanese? Good for you, bro. Or bro at No one gives a fuck. I'm sorry. Just, if you don't like it, no one's telling you to watch it. And people that hate on Naruto will be updated as fuck about it. I wouldn't say I hate Bleach, but I, I kind of dislike it now. You don't see me knowing the latest info on Bleach. Maybe I'll give it a try later, but I'm not going to sit there and be updated about it so I can find reasons to diss it, you know? But anyway, um, I don't know. Naruto is just, it's really different nowadays. It's more of just, okay, they're powerful. They're super powerful. I kind of miss the part one days of uh, Naruto where they were uh, getting, you know, growing up and learning. I know eventually characters grow and they'll become stronger, but I just, I don't know. I, I miss the part one feels, you know, just when they would face some someone and just be like, man, shit. Like, you guys remember when Orochimaru was a big fucking deal? Damn. Throw back. And Naruto has this habit of introducing you to all these characters, but they don't... Their growth is, like, stunted. Because, I mean, it's just... They're being left behind in the dust by Naruto and Sasuke. I mean, you know... Kiba, Lee, Neji, Hinata, like, they introduced all these people and gave them, like, stories, but what have they really accomplished? I mean, I know it's called Naruto. It's going to be focused on Naruto, but I just don't understand the point of having all these characters and then you just don't really give them a chance to uh, shine. I mean, freaking Neji... Okay, spoiler. Freaking Neji died, and I was just like, okay, you know, you killed Neji. He's had how many fights that were actually canon? Like, uh, the part two fight with uh, Team Guy against his a clone of him or whatever when he was aiding Team Kakashi in the first arc of Shippuden, or a part two. Um, the fight against the Sound Four guy the spider guy forgive me i don't know his name it escapes me and you know his fight against naruto i just i don't know i feel like all these characters don't really have a chance to shine and even more so in part two you know you're introduced to characters such as a uh, really big darui fan he's had like one fight i mean i don't know i wish they had more time to shine but yeah naruto's getting kind of crazy I just hope it ends, you know, on a really good note. Uh, it's kind of weird. You know, you got Naruto using harem jutsu on supposedly the baddest of the bad guy. Happens to be a girl, uses a reverse harem jutsu. Has a bunch of dudes pop up and this chick gets distracted and he suckers her. But, I don't know. We'll see about Naruto. Uh, if you have any thoughts on it or anything comment say something uh comment on a post and on blurs whatever all right all right gonna try and wrap this video up because i have to turn off my fans to uh make it so that you can actually hear me and it's hot as shit in here so i'm gonna try and wrap this up uh just talk about twitter real quick uh black twitter is very stupid hate black twitter Pretty sure Hunter Moore made it because I haven't seen it until he said something about Black Twitter when he was talking about this girl that was ugly. And he was just like, ha ha, I'm gonna lob this over to Black Twitter though. <laughs> and ever since then, I've seen Black Twitter just come out of the woodworks. So thanks, Hunter Moore. Black Twitter just being, it's just basically being an asshole on social networks. Um, you know, tweeting the same picture a thousand times, quote tweeting it, having a thousand fucking emojis because 
Black Twitter loves their emojis. You know, one will get the point across, but they gotta have three lines full of emojis. It's dumb. Uh, Black Twitter, notorious for slandering people. I'm telling you right now, if you ever get in an argument with someone on Black Twitter that's part of Black Twitter, turn the other cheek because they will try to go in on you over anything. Like, I'm talking grammar, like if you maybe say the, like you accidentally type wrong, have a typo, they'll pick up on that, say shit about that, go through your pictures, find something to just try and roast you on. So just don't even pay them any attention because black Twitter people literally have nothing better to do. Trust me, don't do it. But I don't know. Until I figure out a way to demolish black Twitter, I guess we just have to deal with it. But I'm working on something to just completely drop an A-bomb on black Twitter. So we'll see how that goes. Ugh, just so awful like i actually have a common thing that you will find on black twitter uh ignore my tabs it's just country uh crunchy rule facebook and twitter um this might appear backwards i might have to edit it i don't know but uh what that says is if we talk you not single bitch that's the kind of shit you're gonna see on black twitter constantly it's it's just annoying <sighs> black twitter um any twitter's pretty cool i mean i like it got some cool peeps on there uh one i wanted to make note of was the anime battles person you know sparks up discussions uh i i love seeing their posts because i don't know it just gets you talking about anime and stuff like that i wouldn't say i'm an like part of any twitter really I mean, I do have any Twitter, eh, any Twitter tendencies. That's a tongue twister. But I don't know. I really don't feel affiliated with anyone, to be real. But it's very nice. Anime battles keep doing your thing. Um, you know, you you have the occasional person that will talk shit about you liking a certain anime or whatever. But that's about it. Um, oh, a lot of lot of anime boobs. People will tweet a lot of anime boobs and shit. But I mean, do you? But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, like us on Facebook, Blurts Online. Um, like actual Blurts Online. Uh, go to Jordan's playthrough. Check that out. It's actually good, funny. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Jazz is out.